This is Brian and we're back at Prater and today we're going to be going over some of the components that are inside of our fine grinders. Starting off first, this is a fully assembled rotor with blades. We have an example here of our six jaw with six screens configuration. Down here we have an example which will kind of go over some of the other points. This is our full ring sieve. And then another option that we offer in our fine grinders as far as a screen frame would be three jaws and where you would simply just take out three of these jaws where you have your six jaws. Now some important factors as far as components inside of our machines and the things that you might see is that wear on the screens and wear on the blades to where they might be indicating that it's time to go ahead that we need to go ahead and change either the blades or we have to change our screens. So one example of our blades that you can come in here and see is that we will start getting rounding on that part of the blade and they will actually start to round on the tips as well too. So how this would be installed if you're looking at one of our uh, fine grinder rotors, the blade would be inserted into the slot handing up this way. This most likely would be the leading edge depending on the rotation direction. And then when you're doing your simple inspections on inside the components and you start to see rounding or any type of uh, if you see any type of inconsistencies in the, any part of the blade that it's a good practice to go ahead and take those out and replace them with a brand new set of blades. Another thing that you might see inside some of your in the screen frame assembly is this is a triangle perforated screen and you could see that there is some damage to the screen there. Another point that you might see is you might start to see some wear in either the center sections or the outer section of the screen. If we start to see any wear in any parts or any ding marks from any foreign material that might have gotten in there that wasn't supposed to be in the grinding chamber, then it's a good practice that we want to go ahead and start taking those screens out and then swapping them out with a brand new set. Another aspect that could happen inside with the screen frame is there's one of your grinding jaws. If you start to see ding marks or on the straight parts of the jaw, you'll start to see rounding on the edges. <clears throat> and if you start to see rounding on the edges, that's showing you that that part's starting to wear as well. And that's a good practice to start taking these out and replace them as well. Because if the jaws start to uh, wear, then you might lose the efficiency on your grind cut. So another aspect, if you want to come over on this region here is our rotors, they'll come fully assembled and ready to go and balanced from our factory when they get shipped out to you. And one thing that you want to pay attention to is that installing this rotor when you get it from us, because it won't be inside the machine, is looking for either balancing washers or it'll be stamped, <coughs> it'll be stamped, <coughs> it'll be stamped on the rotor as far as an F or a front and that's indicating to you that you have to install that rotor into the machine with that front or these washers facing you because of how we balance it at our factory before it was sent out to the customer. Very important aspect of it because if it's installed backwards then you go to turn it on the vibration might be high, might not be what you were anticipating and then you know we begin contact with us asking us why is the vibration so high on the initial startup. Two options of screens that we do offer, we offer a round hole at different sizes depending on whatever the cut point is that the customer is trying to achieve and we do also offer a perforated triangle screen. And you can see the perforation as far as on the actual part that's going to be installed where a lot of the grinding is going to be happening. The most important factor with our triangle screens as you can see the triangle point always has to be facing in the direction of rotation of the rotor in your specific fine grinder. If these are not installed in the same direction of rotation of that rotor, you run the risk of that material staying in there longer and not being able to escape and potentially burning or over grinding material which could create a whole different aspect of problems. So it's very important to make sure that we install those correctly. The other important aspect of installing and taking screens out and changing them as you can see on this on the screen ring that for this specific one which would be our full ring sieve is an option that we offer because in some aspects we don't have to be as aggressive with a six jaw or three jaw and we can accomplish our grind with a ring sieve and not have to have any jaws in there but just like with the six jaw in a ring sieve all of our uh, ring sieve assemblies have this notch in it that is machined out so that when we're going to install our screens, whatever part you're starting with, with the top or the bottom, we're going to make sure that that screen gets fully engaged into that slot. 
And once we work it down in that slot, what we would do then is grab our other piece, the top piece, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that that also fits in the same slot. Because if we don't get that screen engaged into those slots on the ring, <clears throat> the ring, uh, the ring sieve aspect of it, then when we go to tighten these down, you're going to run the risk of uh, pinching or damaging the screens. So it's very important on our ring sieve and our six draw and our three draw to make that sure that those screens are getting inside those slots. The other aspect of a two, if you're looking at it on a six draw is not only do we have the top part of the screen rings, but we also have the slot that's inside the jaw as well too, so that that screen, whatever one you're installing, is going to slide in between the slots of the grinding jaws and then engaging in the bottom part of that ring. And then we would put our top ring on, also making sure that the screens are engaging in the ring in the top before we go ahead and fully lock those down and tighten them down and not run the risk of either pinching or damaging the screens.